And the triangle JKL cosine of K is equal to 24 over 51 and angle J is a right angle. What is the value of cosine L? So how do you do this one? Well, we're given a triangle JKL. We're told that J is the right angle. And J is over here. Now, it doesn't really matter where we put K and L. Let's put K over there and L over here. But we know that cosine K is 24 over 51. So remember, cosine of whatever is equal to adjacent angle over your hypotenuse. So our adjacent angle would be A, which is 24 over here. And our hypotenuse, which is, again, opposite of the right angle, would be 51. Why is this our adjacent? Because it's the one closest to our K. This would be our opposite. Now, cosine of L would be different. Cosine of L would be our adjacent over here times your hypotenuse over here. Now, what's your adjacent over here? Well, we don't know that, but we could simply find that by using the Pythagorean theorem, which states a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So let's do that. We could label any of these as a or b. It doesn't really matter, but our c is always our hypotenuse. So let's solve for this. Let's say our b again is 24, so we'll say a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Now let's do let's simplify this. a squared is equal to 51 squared minus 24 squared. Now let's put this into our calculators to get the answer. Once we put this in our calculators, we get that a squared is equal to 2,025. Now we must take the square root of this to get that a is equal 45. Now again, our psi lengths cannot be negative, so our answer must be 45 for a. So a is equal to 45. So what is the value of cosine of L? Well, cosine of L would be your adjacent, which is 45, or our hypotenuse, which is 51. 45 over 51 which can be simplified by dividing by 3 to 15 over 17. So that's our answer. If you figured it out yourself, drop I did it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and follow classbox.ai for daily SAT shortcuts.